Good morning, Pipers. Hope you are well. We're doing good, aren't we? Hey. Hope you all had a great Easter break. It looks like I'm off for the rest of the week, so plenty of pipe making, which is good. I've just finished up a commission, which might do a video of tomorrow. And I have another one on the go. So that'll keep me busy. I'm smoking the Alton Air Skull and in it I have got Haunted Pirate Ship. Which is a lovely sweet lap bomb. It's, uh, I mixed this up about three months ago maybe, maybe even four. Uh, for you that don't know, I'm pretty sure everyone knows, but it was created by the great matches and uh, it is the 50-50 mix of Haunted Bookshop and Pirate Cake. And it's really nice. I've nearly finished the jar, so the next one, I might try a little bit of a different mix. Now there's another mix on the go, which was created by the great Uncle Phil Seller, everybody's friend. And that is 50-50, Bold Joe Kranz and uh, Jermaine's full Latakia flake. And I mixed a little bit of that up because I can't smoke the old Joe Cramp straight. It just sends me dull lally. But mixed with the uh, full Latakia flake, it is really good. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and do a little hybrid because I've got the pirate cake and I've got some old Joe Cramps. So I'm going to try some pirate Joe. I think I'll call it. So it'll be 50-50 old Joe Cramps and Pirate cake. That way I can use up my old Joe Crams that I can't smoke by itself because it just sends me. Just, I, don't know, I smoke stronger blends with no problem. Something about that blend it just gets me straight away. Talking Tommy's probably on the right track with it, saying, because it's a dry blend and it is strong it's just you, you sm it smokes quick so taking a lot of nicotine in very quickly but it's it still gets me more than other tobaccos regardless anyway enough rambling let me have a swig of coffee And then I can show you the pipe that I've got available. So it is a Rhodesian. And obviously it is a sandblast. It's a really detailed sandblast. Lots of detail, not too deep though, quite light, but good detail in it. And then we've got this lovely boxwood ring on the shank, complemented by a boxwood ring in the stem with this half saddle. Nice neat slot and button. No filter, 
And then there's a boxwood ring. Size-wise, it's got some really nice thick walls, so it'll be a good smoker for, I reckon it'll be good for Virginias, because the bowl is, uh, let's see, the bowl is 44 deep, so good depth, but 19 wide, it's a parabolic, so it'll be perfect for flakes, and with them nice thick walls, it should uh, destroy them. We've got uh, the Eldridge black resin on there, so no oxidization. And the length is 142 mil, and it's 55 tall, and the weight is 68 grams. So not too bad for an FD chunk, but it feels nicely balanced. yeah like it's a bit stealthy with just that lovely english box wood i don't know if it can pick up the detail in it slightly get the grain there love box wood really nice color that creamy mellow color And a nice ring around the bowl. So as ever, all details will be below. It will be on the Etsy, but as ever, if you want to deal with me direct, I'll knock you ten percent off the Etsy price. Cause let's not give them all the money in charges, eh? Let's pass it on to you guys. That's it. Brilliant. Uh, anything else to report? The weather's cracking here. Smoking is good. Can't think of anything else. If I do, I shall pop it in my next video. Because like I say, I finished up a commission. So I'll take a video before I send it out. And let you guys all see it. Because it is a beauty. So. If you're back at work. It'll soon be weekend. If you're not, enjoy your time off. But whatever you're doing. Enjoy your smokes and as ever, stay smoky my friends. <laughs>